If you've been waiting to buy a home in Austin for whatever reason, maybe you're waiting for prices to come down, for rates to drop, or for other personal reasons, I'm going to tell you that the next couple of months, September, October, and November of 2024, is going to be one of the best time periods ever to buy a home. And I'm going to explain there's three factors that are causing this situation right now. Let me break it down for you in this market minute. So first of all, I want to start with the latest stats for Travis County in the Austin Board of Realtors. So our prices overall from month to month went down again. The median sales price is around 507,000. So if you look at the whole year of 2024, this is following the predictable pattern that we see every year of seasonality. Our prices always go up in the spring, hit the peak around the summer, and then they start to come down. So this year is no different. So if you can buy a home in September, October, November, you're you're going to have the benefit of the fact that the prices are already coming down for this year. And also, if you go back in time and look at where we were at the very peak of the market in uh, 2022, the highest median sales price in May was 659,000. That is so crazy to think that how much prices have come down until now at 507,000, that's almost a 30% difference in prices. So if you've been thinking, well, I'm just gonna wait for prices to come down, I can tell you they've already come down. And this year we're in the downward slope. So if you can buy over the next few months, you've got prices working to your advantage. The other thing is we have a ton of inventory. We still have over five months, which just means there's a lot of houses to pick from. You've got good negotiating power and you can often discount the price, especially if you're buying a new home. Builders are really throwing in all kinds of incentives to help their home sell faster because there's just so many homes for sale that they're competing with. So you've got lots of choices, bargaining power and prices coming down. Now, the second reason why the next few months are going to be especially good for buyers is because it's an election year. Now, if we go back historically and look at what's happened over the last several years or decades, rather, of um, election history, usually the few months leading up to an election is a slower time for the housing market. So there's less sales that happen during the months of October and November, mostly because families are distracted. They're wanting to know what's going on with the government, the economy, and they're also just anxious to see what is going to happen. So fewer buyers are going to be buying during those months, which means that if you can make a move, you have less competition again, and probably even a stronger chance than you would in a normal year to negotiate and get an incredible deal. Now, historically, the year after an election is always stronger for the housing market. The only exception was in 2008, but every other election previously, we had a much stronger sales season the next year. So if you were waiting into 2025, expect the market to be a little more competitive. A lot more families will be making a purchase the year after if history proves to be true again. So the third reason it's an awesome time to buy right now, especially in the next few months, is because interest rates have already dropped. A lot of people are like, I'm gonna wait to see what happens at the September Fed meeting. The Fed already said they're going to drop rates, and in the expectation of that, lenders have already lowered mortgage rates. The Fed doesn't directly control mortgage rates, so lenders have already dropped their mortgage rates in expectation of this cut. So our rates have come down almost a point and a quarter since where they were just a few months ago. So let's say back in April, the rate was around seven and a half percent, and right now people can get maybe six and a quarter, depends on your credit score, but let's just use those numbers as an example. Anytime the rates come down 1%, it means you have 10% more purchasing power. So think about it, if you had bought a home or qualified for a home back in the spring and a lender said your max budget is 800,000, and maybe you're disappointed with that. You're looking at what's for sale in the area and you're like, gosh, I wish I could just you know, qualify for a little more. Well, now you can. If you go back and recheck with your lender, what can I afford right now? You should be able to afford at least 10% more home. So that could give you more choices. Maybe you can get into a price point or a home that has more of the features you were wishing you could get. 
Now, the other way you could look at it is you could save 10% a month on your mortgage payment. So let's say you were gonna buy that $800,000 home, 20% down back in April with a 7.5% interest rate. To keep the math simple, we're not doing taxes or anything like that, but your monthly payment would have been $4,475. Now, if you bought that same purchase price today using the same 20% down, not factoring in taxes, your monthly payment would be $3,941. So you would save over $500 a month on the same house that you would have been looking at back in April. So what's awesome about this now is your purchasing power is so much stronger, whichever way you want to use it, buy a little bit more so you get what you want or lower your payments. Either way, you're going to win. And I can tell you that there's still thousands and thousands of buyers out there that are just waiting. I'm going to wait to see if they come down a little bit further. What's going to happen at some point is that if rates do start dropping into the fives, a whole bunch of families and buyers are going to re-enter the market and start buying, which is going to mean more competition from the buyer side, less homes to pick from, home selling faster, less negotiating power, and ultimately higher prices. So this is why I believe this window right now of September, October, November, right before the election is one of the most incredible opportunities that I've seen in the market in a long time. Now, if you want to discuss your situation and explore opportunities, you can always reach out with my contact information below. I would also love to know your opinions and comments on the information I presented. Tell me what you think in the comment section.